Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. My name is Anita Fon, and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time I upload the new tutorials on my channel. If you're all member, you're welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to sew this drapet skirt step by step. So if you want to know how I go about it, keep on watching. What I'll do now is to go ahead and remove up my pins and remove my pattern away and I also mark some mark as you can see where the pattern end from, right? Once I'm done removing that, I will go ahead to hem this up. You have to hem it now because if you hem it later, it will be a little bit complicated for you. I'll just fold half an inch and half an inch in what I'm going to hem that. I'm going to be pinning this up together because this fabric is kind of a bit complicated. So you need, I need to pin it up. I'll pin it all the way to the end. And when I'm done pinning it, I'll take it to the machine. I'm going to stitch that up. I'll take it to the machine. I'm going to stitch it up now. So you can see, I'm taking my time stitching it, going through it a bit by bit. Once I'm done stitching, I'll take it to my ironing board. I'm going to press that up to lay everything flat. This is what when I'm like done hemming it, I'll take it to the iron board. I'm going I'm to just going to strip it off. I'll be picking like it just like that, as you can see what I'm doing here. Just go ahead and pick it up like this, full that up. And when we finish stripping it, you make sure whatever we have here should be seven inch. That is what we have when we are drafting up the pattern. I'll pin that up to hold it on so it will not move. Right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other side. I'll be placing it inside. Look at what I'm going to be doing with the other side. So I realized that this downer, the last split wasn't really that good. So I went ahead to remove up the pin and repin it again. Now I will go ahead, take the other piece. Look at the way I place it. I place the other piece under it we're just going to go ahead and hold it on and we'll take the other side that's the back piece we'll place that on top and we'll pin that up okay if you want you can actually go ahead to stitch up your that but i'll be pinning the that's the back piece i will join it join the side seam i'm going to pin that up after pinning it up i will take it to the machine i'm going to stitch half inch away Once I'm done stitching that, I'll go ahead to trim off the excess. Then I'm going to zigzag that, okay? If you have an overlock machine, just go ahead to overlock it. This is what it looks like after uh, joining the uh, side, two sides in together. As you can see, now I went ahead to cut up a long band. Of the waist remember I said this skirt doesn't have any uh, waistband so we're going to cut a long band you kind of hem it at the downer part then we'll just go ahead to pin it up to the skirt after pinning it up we'll go ahead to stitch that up
I'll stitch half inch away. After stitching, I'll just kind of flip it inside like this, and then the this top part is going to be neat, all right. I'll go ahead now to top stitch this to the that's the lining of the uh, waist, okay? I went ahead and top stitched the it right there, and the inside is quite very neat. Next thing we're going to do now is to go ahead. We'll be adding up the zipper if you want. You can actually add a hemming gum to it to stick that line into your main piece. I'm going to go ahead now, join the two back pieces together. Then I will take a zipper, I will place it on top, then mark where the zipper is going to be ending. I will stitch from that mark downward. I will go ahead now to pin up my zipper just like this. Okay. I will pin. After pinning it, I will take it to the machine. I'm going to stitch that up. Okay. I go ahead to trim up the excess. Then I'm going to fold half an inch, half an inch inward, and I'll be done with this cut. I'll put it on to show you what it look like on me. This is what the skirt look like on me. Let me know what you think about this. If you love this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to hit all the notification bell for another DIY. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next DIY. Bye.